smiles for Jesus. My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Peace in our times. Thy will be done. Comforted, cheered, and encouraged by smiles for Jesus. In this union and communion with him love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him, because as he is, so are we in this world. The elderly elder of the church addresses this letter to the elect chosen lady Saria and her children, whom I truly love and not only I but also all who are progressively learning to recognize and know and understand the truth these are hidden reefs elements of danger in your love feasts, where they boldly feast sumptuously carousing together in your midst, without scruples providing for themselves alone. They are clouds without water, swept along by the winds, trees, without fruit at the late autumn gathering time twice doubly dead, lifeless, and plucked up by the roots. And from Jesus Christ the faithful and trustworthy witness, the firstborn of the dead first to be brought back to life and the prince ruler of the kings of the earth. To him whoever loves us and has once for all loosed and freed us from our sins by his own blood. Those whom I dearly and tenderly love, I tell their faults and convict and convince and reprove and chasten I discipline and instruct them. So be enthusiastic and in earnest and burning with zeal and repent changing your mind and attitude. And they have overcome conquered him by means of the blood of the Lamb and by the utterance of their testimony, for they did not love and cling to life even when faced with death holding their lives cheap till they had to die for their witnessing. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth, the fast of the seventh and the fast of the tenth, shall be to the house of Judah times of joy and gladness and cheerful, appointed seasons. Therefore in order that this may happen to you, as the condition of fulfilling the promise love truth and peace. And he will himself go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn back the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient and incredulous and unpersuadable to the wisdom of the upright which is the knowledge and holy love of the will of God in order to make ready for the Lord a people perfectly prepared in spirit, adjusted and disposed and placed in the right moral state. But love your enemies and be kind and do good doing favors so that someone derives benefit from them and lend, expecting and hoping for nothing in return but considering nothing as lost and despairing of no one, and then your recompense your reward will be great rich, strong, intense, and abundant, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind and charitable and good to the ungrateful and the selfish and wicked. For my concern is that their hearts may be braced comforted, cheered, and encouraged as they are knit together in love, that they may come to have all the abounding wealth and blessings of assured conviction of understanding, and that they may become progressively more intimately acquainted with and may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that mystic secret of God which is Christ the Anointed One.